All right, ladies and gentlemen of D-Class personnel, go ahead and sit down. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Commander. And I'm going to be briefing you on the SCP you're going to go study, so pay attention. What we're looking at today, SCP-2725, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2725 is kept anchored in a reinforced hangar at Site 88. Several tracking devices have been attached to its surface for recovery purposes. Instances of SCP-2725-1A or 1B that attempt to escape the containment hangar are to be sedated. The vehicle is to be inspected monthly and the site director has approval of relegating repair operations to SCP-2725-1A under the supervision of security. Personnel are to supply 1A with scrap material for this purpose. SCP-2725-1D is kept in a cryogenic containment cell. Instances of SCP-2725-1A that approach within 5 meters of 1D must be returned to the hangar. Global atmospheric surveillance of SCP-2725-2 was conducted using satellites and ground observation outposts. Response to confirmed sightings is to divert aircraft within a 2-kilometer radius away from Dash 2's location to mitigate the probability of hostile encounters. Description SCP-2725 is the salvaged remains of the USS Akron, a helium-filled rigid airship formerly belonging to the U.S. Navy. The vehicle has been extensively repaired and modified with scrap material and organic matter to permit continued function after its destruction in 1933. Majority of the outer envelope has been replaced by a membranous material that forms sail-like structures across the upper and lateral surface. The lateral propellers appear to have been repaired and the water recovery slots replaced by an array of apertures containing harpoons and mounted turrets. A pair of large cannons have been attached to the upper anterior hull close to the crow's nest. Most of the dirt aluminum framework appears to have been supplemented by additional girders. In the interior, the gas cells have been reinforced with additional plating and the insides are lined with a mat of microbial growth that produces helium for buoyancy. At the stern, the auxiliary control room has been entirely removed and the rear spaces serve as a den for SCP-2725-1A. The gasoline engines have been repaired and are connected to a heart-like organic structure that, through an unknown mechanism, supplies power to the entire vehicle. At the anterior end, the control room has expanded in size, taking up part of the forward gangway and reaching halfway up the hull. The hangar has been carved out to accommodate Dash 1C. Several large ports arranged laterally along the upper hull and lower hull are linked to hollowed out chambers where Dash 1B resides. Several other chambers have been constructed within the airship for various purposes. The spy basket appears to have been disposed of. SCP-2725 frequently maintains an anomalous ellipsoid field approximately 270 meters long, 110 meters wide, and 60 meters high that renders the object invisible to outside visual and radar observation. It is presumed that this field can be diminished, which would explain the initial sightings of the object. SCP-2725 travels at an average speed of 100 km an hour, with the fastest recorded speed at 150 km an hour. The airship has been observed to move at varying altitudes without being visibly affected by changing air temperatures. Dash 1 is a collective designation comprising the sentient entities that inhabit and maintain SCP-2725. Dash 1A and 1B creatures are born in a pod-like structure near the lower rear end of the airship to maintain a steady population. SCP-2725-1A SCP-2725-1A are insectoid creatures resembling black wood lice measuring 1.8 meters in length. They have two pairs of grasping claws and can secrete an organic adhesive from their mouths. 1A are the most numerous instances present and serve to repair any damage on SCP-2725 as well as add materials to its structure. 1B, pterosaur-like organisms with a wingspan of up to 6 meters. 
The creatures display bioluminescent bodies and are primarily used to assist SCP-2725 in nocturnal navigation, but will also defend it against any perceived threats. SCP-2725-1C, a large tentacled creature inhabiting the hangar of SCP-2725. 1C is responsible for gunnery aim and control. Several of its tentacles stretch throughout the interior, some of which extend out of the hull and are theorized to function as detection systems. Another group of tentacles is situated inside the hangar, which can extend to a length of 17 meters. These tentacles are used to capture objects of interest. Dash 1D, SCP-2725-1D is an animate human corpse situated in the cockpit wearing a military uniform and fused with radio equipment for communication. The entity appears to command SCP-2725 as well as 1A, 1B, and 1C. 1D is in possession of an infield number 2 modified with organic matter but has never been observed using it. SCP-2725 constantly pursues a hostile airborne life form designated SCP-2725-2. Dash 2 is a segmented serpentine creature, 350 meters in length with a pair of undulating 5 meter long wings at each segment. Dash 2 has not been observed to feed and possesses advanced camouflaging capabilities allowing it to remain undetected to visual and radar observation. SCP-2725 and Dash-2 appear to engage in combat whenever they encounter each other. In several cases, both objects have been witnessed dropping their camouflaging mechanisms. SCP-2725 has been observed to lethally injure SCP-2725-2 using its weapons and Dash-1B. Observations show that the object frequently targets the creature's wings. On the other hand, Dash 2 attempts to wrap itself around the airship and crush it using constriction. To date, SCP-2725 and Dash 2 have engaged in 27 recorded incidents. Addendum. Item History. SCP-2725 was first sighted on February 24, 1942 over California. Air raid wardens from the 37th Coast Artillery Brigade were the first eyewitnesses and in panic sounded an alarm at 6.57 p.m. causing a succession of alarms. Within hours, a total blackout was ordered across the Los Angeles County and anti-aircraft guns were readied, though pursuit airplanes remained grounded. Between 12 p.m. and 1 o'clock a.m., SCP-2725 was sighted moving northwest from Culver City to Santa Monica. During this time, the Coast Artillery Brigade began firing at the object and were able to cause some damage. SCP-2725 was last seen flying away from the Santa Monica area at 4.15 a.m. The all-clear and lifting of the blackout order were announced at 7.12 a.m. Building and vehicle damage from shell fragments were reported, as well as five civilian deaths, three of which were the result of car accidents caused by the panic. Due to the scale of the event and the rapid coverage of the media, the Foundation focused its efforts on covering up the incident as a false alarm triggered by growing war anxiety, and the reports of unidentified targets were attributed to weather balloons, flares, and anti-aircraft rounds. Most of the photos taken by eyewitnesses were confiscated and or edited to support this explanation prior to being given to news outlets. Working with the U.S. military, Navy Secretary Frank Knox delivered a press conference the following day to propagate the cover-up. The 37th Coast Artillery Brigade and other associated military officials also cooperated to deliver additional false information and ensuring the uncertainty of the incident's cause. From 1942 to 1963, SCP-2725 was seen in different locations across the globe at least 12 times. In multiple instances, the object was reported salvaging raw materials from both air and watercraft. In all cases, said craft were abandoned. Dash 2 was also first sighted during this period, engaging SCP-2725 in five of the 12 reported encounters. SCP-2725 was not seen again until 1972, when the airship was reported 200 kilometers southwest of... The Foundation launched three reconnaissance airplanes from Site-88 to investigate. 
It was during this investigation that initial contact with 1D was made. However, communication was interrupted when Dash 2 appeared, destroying two of the surveillance planes. The third plane interfered in the conflict, allowing SCP-2725 to injure Dash 2 and forcing the creature to retreat. 1D, believing the act to be a form of assistance, offered to repair the damage inflicted on the reconnaissance plane. However, the plane had crashed into the sea after the scuffle and was recovered by Foundation vessels one hour later. SCP-2725, meanwhile, disappeared again and was never sighted for the next 21 years. SCP-2725 was finally contained in 1993 when it was sighted hovering just above the surface of the Pacific Ocean, 500 kilometers west of with its camouflaging field disabled. Initial investigation of the ship showed that 1A was active, repairing a damaged gas cell and the device presumed to be responsible for generating the cloaking field. 1D was found sitting in the cockpit of the airship. After securing the vehicle, the Foundation dragged it to the hangar of Site 88 for further study. Examination of 1D revealed that it made a recording on its radio. It states, Final Log After my repeated failures in destroying the serpent, I am regrettably forced to surrender my badge of duty. My superiors told me that the fate of my ship or my crew is beyond my concern now. I don't know what will happen from this point on, but I sincerely hope that someone else can succeed where I failed. The skies will never be safe so long as that monster lives. Addendum. During the examination of 1D, researchers recovered a bronze key around the subject's neck. Exploration of SCP-2725 showed that the key unlocked a previously inaccessible chamber in the ship. This chamber was presumed to be SCP-2725-1D's living quarters. From this room, the Foundation recovered the following. 19 wall trophies of unknown organisms presumed to have been caught and stuffed by 1D. Several maps dating back to the 1930s and 40s. A photograph depicting SCP-2725 and its crew, as well as five unknown individuals and an unidentified flying creature. The note on the back says, 1962 V-Day, and is signed by the label's GM. They also found pieces of an M1 Garand, three red eggs weighing approximately 45 pounds. Analysis confirms that they are dormant. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was SCP-2725. Dismissed.